Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is JP at Websites for Beginners and a good wherever you are. Interesting news and an update as a software app that I use all the time, which is local, used to be called Local by Flywheel, and Local had a lot of pro features. Surprise, surprise, since yesterday, Local Pro goes free. And that also goes with the latest update to Local 6.0. I'm going to show you quickly what Local is. I'm going to show you how easy and fast it is to set up a website in Local and then just cover quickly some of these pro features that are new now. Especially when you are starting out, getting hosting can be very expensive. There are a lot of cheap options out there, but you may be choosing one that only allows you to have one hosting site. And when you are practicing and learning and trying out new things, it's not a good idea to do it actually on that site. Any images you upload, any changes you make may be kept within your folder structure, leading to some bloating and later on it can just cause problems. So the best is to get something which we refer to as a local server and then you can practice it on your computer for free. You don't need to get extra hosting. You can install WordPress, you can install themes, you can install the plugins, everything works. And you basically are running it as if you have a live website. All the tutorials that I've been doing in the last month here on Websites for Beginners and before that are all done in local. Sometimes I use some cheap websites just to make sure everything works perfectly, but in most cases we do it in local. You go to the link in the description below, go to local, Download the app, you install it like you would install any other app on Windows and a Mac. And then from here, you can see my little icon. I'll click on it and this will open local. Already, I have a number of sites for these exercises that we are doing. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a vanilla installation of WordPress. Simply click here on the plus. And then we call this local site. This is the name of our site. Oh, let me just get that right. Local site. Click on continue. And for most of us, especially us beginners, preferred. This is the one we want to choose. Click continue. And then what is your username? In my case, I'm just going to say JP. Then I'll give myself a password. And then email address over here. And watch when I click Add Site, how quickly this is going to go through the process. It's going to set up a few things. It's going to ask me for authorization. And then after that, basically, boom, we're right into WordPress. There we go. And I'm not editing any of this. I'm going to keep it running so you can see how quickly it is that you can install local and then you can set up a website and you are ready to work with it. That's it. It's installed. And there are a few things that you can do here to work on. You can trust it to ensure it runs on an SSL. And you can also update it to the latest PHP. I like to use 7.4.1. Let me just apply that one. And it will just quickly put that one in for us. And the one feature that I really like here is the one click admin. By default, it's set on disable. To go into my site, I have to click up here on admin. It will open it for me in my browser and you log in like usual with your username and the password. That feature though, one click admin, you see here is the admin account that I've created. If I select this and now I click on admin, voila, it takes me directly right into WordPress. Mm, that was pretty awesome. And there's WordPress. You have your normal default hello world post and your two pages for privacy policy and sample page. And from here, you can begin to quickly work on it. I have to give local kudos because up to just before five, it didn't run fast for me at all. I've tried it on so many different computers. It was a slow process. Sometimes it ran well. Sometimes it was really, really, really slow. And you had to wait and wait and wait and wait. But as you can see, I've been very satisfied with local. There are a number of good local servers out there. We all, you know, choose what we like. I like local because it is so simple, everything here. Now, what do these pro features all mean? Now, in many cases, you're not going to be using them. Magic Sync allows you to do some different deployment technology. Instant Reload is for people who are using CSS files. Live Links 
are pretty useful. Let's go over here to this demo oxygen. You see here at the bottom live link. When I click enable, this used to be a pro feature. Now, let's say I'm working with Trudy over there in Brussels and I want to show her my local site. Remember, it's only on my computer. I cannot send her a link from my host. So I click here on copy. And now I have sent her this link via whatever I'm using, stack or whatever, and she can access it and she can view what I'm doing. Great. That is what the live link is all about. And then you also have link checker. This one over here, the magic sync. One note here is that magic sync only works with flywheel. And also now, if I'm not mistaken, the other host is WP engine. Magic sync is a staging process wherein you can work in the local app from here. And when you have designed your page completely to the way you like it, you're ready. You can just sync it directly from local and then it will run on those sites that are hosted either by Flywheel or WP Engine. And that's local 6.0 Pro, free now for everyone.